Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box video on exporting MIDI files. In Band in a Box, we have a number of options available when exporting MIDI. We will start by going over the dialog that is used to export MIDI, and then I will show you some of the options in action. To access the Save Song as MIDI dialog, just click on the .mid button under File in the toolbar. You can also access this dialog with the F6 key. The first option here is the MIDI file type. Band in a Box normally writes Type 1 standard MIDI files, which include multiple tracks. Type 0 MIDI files are a single track MIDI file that contains all of the parts and are used by many hardware modules and other devices. The karaoke MIDI file type is also supported. Karaoke files are a special type of MIDI file that contain text events for lyrics and a specific order of the tracks. There is also an option to save drums on separate tracks. This is a special Type 1 MIDI file with each individual drum instrument, such as a kick drum, snare, and hi-hat, all on their own separate tracks. Below we have the Options button which will open another dialog with various options of what to include within your MIDI file. Include patch changes in MIDI files will include all your instrument patch changes. Include part marker text markers. When selected, MIDI files are written with descriptive text markers for part markers. You can choose whether or not to include the two bar lead in in your MIDI file. Choose to write lyrics in general MIDI or a PG music format. You can write section text as text events. You can include volume, reverb, chorus, and panning info, as well as force channel meta events and a guitar position controller. Normally Band in a Box writes the soloist part on channel 8, but since that could also mean the left hand in a piano track using the convention of channel 8 or 9 for piano, this option allows you to write it on channel 5 instead. If write harmony to MIDI file is checked, the harmony will be written to the MIDI file. If not, just the melody will be written to the MIDI file. The harmony can also be written to the MIDI file as separate tracks for each voice when using this option. Writing guitar part on six channels will create a MIDI file that has the guitar part written on channels 11 through 16. For partial range MIDI files, chop off sustaining notes at end controls whether the notes sustain at the end of the range of the MIDI file or will be cut off. We have some options here if your song contains real drums. You can even save real charts MIDI data in your MIDI files, as well as adjust the resolution of the MIDI files. The Set Range button allows you to select a range of bars to be included in your MIDI file if you do not wish to include the entire song. With Batch Mode, you can convert an entire folder of Band in a Box songs to MIDI files with a single command. The File on Disk button will save a MIDI file to the disk location you specify. While Clipboard copies the MIDI file to the Windows Clipboard as a Type 1 standard MIDI file. This feature allows clipboard-enabled programs to paste the Band in a Box MIDI file directly into the program. Now, I have loaded up the demo song for our devious MIDI style. So let's export some MIDI files. I'll click the Save Song as MIDI button in the toolbar and leave the type as Type 1. Then I'll select File on Disk and I'll just save it to my desktop and leave the name as Devious Demo. Now that that's done, I'll go over to Real Band, but you can use any DAW of your choice. I'll go File, Open, and select our MIDI file. And now we can see here our separated MIDI tracks. Let's give it a listen. Now we're back in Band in a Box, let's open up the Save Song as MIDI File dialog again. Except this time, I'm just going to press the Clipboard button. Then I'll go back to a fresh Real Band project, go to the Edit menu, and press Paste. 
then press OK. And just like before, we have all our separated MIDI tracks ready to go within our DAW. In addition to using the Save Song as MIDI file dialog, we can also use the drag and drop feature to export MIDI. Along the top here, we have our radio buttons that represent each track in the mixer. Master, Bass, Piano, Drums, Guitar, and Synth Pad. And we can use this drag and drop feature in a number of different ways. We can export just one of our mixer tracks directly into our DAW by pressing and holding on the radio button of the track you want and dragging into our DAW, then releasing the mouse button. And as you can see, we now have our drum track in our DAW. When using the drag and drop feature, you do not have to drag directly into your DAW. You can also create a MIDI file to be loaded later. This time, we will use the master track. So we will press and hold on the master track radio button and drag down to this box we call the drop station. You can see there are different file format extensions within the drop station and they light up as we hover the mouse over them. So since we want a MIDI file, we will hover over MIDI and release the mouse. Once your file has finished exporting, the highlight will turn green. We can now right click on the drop station and select open drag drop folder. Here, we will find our MIDI file ready for us to load into our DAW. This file by default is a type one MIDI file with all the tracks included within the one file. But if we wanted to export separate files for each of the mixer tracks, we could drag and drop to the plus symbol in the middle of the drop station. This will bring up some extra options for exporting. And I'll check MIDI, because we want MIDI, but I will also check separate files for each track. This will export a separate MIDI file for each of the mixer tracks. We can now right click on the drop station and select open drag drop folder. And like before, we can drag them into our DAW of choice. Thanks for watching our Band in a Box video on exporting MIDI files. Have fun!